chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip. You took a bite. And you dipped again. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Double Dipping and Sipping. We got our second episode of the Carolina Kettle series. Uh, we had these uh, a while back, and we thought they were a top 10 flavor brand. Love them. Sure. Love them. Awesome. Um, these are Carolina Kettle, the Mama Gin Dill Pickle Kettle Cooked Chips. The Mama Gin. Yeah, and it's a it's named after the owner, Josh Monahan's grandmother. Oh. Yeah, who mm. made homemade pickles every summer. Yum. Um, and a little fact about the company. Also, one in six snacks, they give back a portion of every uh, sale to a local food bank. Yeah. Very cool. good cost. So mm -hmm. uh, grab some chips and support a good cost. I love me some dill pickle. Love them. And we're going to pair it with 10 Barrel Brewing Cucumber Crush Sour. One of my mm. top 10 beers. Ooh. And it's a sour beer with a cucumber finish. So it should pair well with dill pickles. I know, so I have to confess. One would think. Definitely had this beer many times. It's a good beer. It's a good one. Ten Barrel Brewing from Bend, Oregon was founded in 2006 by twin brothers Jeremy and Chris Cox and Garrett Wales and was originally named Wildfire Brewing. They had to change the name to Ten Barrel in 2008 after some legal trouble with the choice of the original name. Oh, I didn't know I guess that. a chain restaurant had it or some sort. Oh. Uh, the new name refers to their brewing setup of having 10 barrels. They have since expanded to 50 barrels and used the original 10 barrel setup for new craft beer development. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The brothers are not happy in their corporate jobs <laughs> and decided they wanted to find an occupation that they could do in one of their favorite cities, Bend, Oregon, and decided to open a bar. JC's Bar, obviously for uh, the guys' names, right? Yeah. Jeremy and Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, and Grill was opened in 2003 and soon became a popular hangout spot for many locals. The bar wasn't enough for them to leave their corporate jobs, however. They were still working in Portland during the week and would drive to Bend every weekend to run the bar. Huh. They still kept brainstorming and decided to make their own beer and open a brewery. After a couple of years of planning, they made the move and finally quit those corporate jobs. And Cucumber Crust is their most awarded beer. It won gold at the Great American Beer Festival in 2014. And I know why. It's amazing. It's so good. So it good. good. Right. Now, some people might not like it because if you don't like the sour, then this is not the beer for you. Yep. Very We're still clean. in our basement because... <laughs> Kitchen reno is still going on. Almost done, though. <laughs> Far from done, it feels like. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> they smell like dill pickle right out of the mm. gate. Pickle juice, mm. pickle juice. I mean, anytime you do a chip and mm. dill pickle, I'm going to like it. And kettle is always good but with dill pickle. But it is really good. You get that, mm. you get that yeah. dill pickle flavor. You still get the crunch from the mm. dill pickle with the chips being kettle cooked. Very good chip. Mm -hmm. Really good. Would you rate it as one of the top five dill pickle chips we've had? Yeah, like top two. Okay, so I think the number one that we had before was Trader Joe's. So it's right, right on par. Right in there, yeah. Yeah. Like the the dill part is so so good. Very. And tangy. sometimes they're really uh, they're kind of sour and um, a little bit like on the too vinegary side. Mm -hmm. These are not. They're really good. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is going to be hard to be shocked because mm -hmm. I love this bear. I bet it is so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. That pairs perfectly. I mean... I mean, how could it not, right? Cucumber, cucumber, all the way around. Well, this beer, the reason I like it is because it's really light. Even though it says it's a sour, it's not your typical sour. It's, no. it's very just light and it's a great beer to have like on a hot day. Mm. Yeah, this is a this is a, what you would call a crushable beer right here. Mowing your lawn, washing the car. Wow. Are yeah. you going to be doing those things soon? Well, I hope so because uh, winter sucks here right now. <laughs> it is cold. It is cold. Yeah, but mm. it's a very good, very good beer. Nice I don't light. know if you can read our glasses. We got some cute new glasses. <laughs> um, I'm the beer girl. Someone get this beer a guy mm -hmm. so such a good beer remind everybody where did you get these chips um i got these chips at kitchen 
uh, dot shop dot com. I don't kitchen something. So I will leave a link in the description below just so you can head right there. Tons of snacks there, different flavors, stuff you probably never even heard of. Mm -hmm. uh, they might be regionally uh, located also. So uh, maybe regionally because these are from either North Carolina or South Carolina. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Hence the name. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we got this at uh, our local Total Wine. Always love that place. Yep, go check it out. There's probably a location near you. They got 270 some odd locations across the U.S. Chances are they're near to you. Yeah, if you can't find something there, something's wrong. Oh yeah, you mm -hmm. you'll find all kinds of stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got one more coming up, so you're gonna want to stay tuned for that. It'll be a good one. Oh yeah, the, we're saving the best for last. Mm -hmm. At least the beer. So we notice everybody's really watching our videos. It's so exciting. We just want to tell everybody thank you. And so keep up the whole liking the videos, subscribing, notify yourself when we upload something new, and share so your friends can see what we're doing over here. We'd appreciate it. And until next time, no, no double, double dipping. dipping. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it.